Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time, to the Thoughts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Andrew, here with part 101, the 101st episode of Final Fantasy Tactics, the War of the Lines, the PSP version, running on the PSTV. Hope you guys are all doing well today. And on today's episode, we are going into the second um, depth, I guess, of Midlight Steep. And uh, not really sure what to expect here. I did take a peek at the possible uh, treasure hunting loot. And it's really nothing that I want, honestly. Don't really care. But we might have some decent poaching opportunities. Not really sure on that one. And uh, it's just a bunch of goblins. Okay, never mind. But we do need to find the exit before victory. Show. Huh. It's like a bunch of uneven ground. Huh. Oh, that's not great. Um. Hopefully her, uh, dragon heart will trigger before the doom sets in, and I can't do anything with this turn, so let's go ahead and just wait. Okay, getting a better feel for this. Could hit him with shockwave. Goblins are susceptible to fire. Yeah, a good number of the summons actually do highlight the stage, so it is pretty helpful, at least just to get a lay of the land. Okay. Oh, I could have the other mage attack Agrius from behind to trigger the dragon heart. difference is too much. Try from the side, I guess. I mean, she's still got time. Probably not going to go off before her turn, or their turn, so... That's negating the doom thing. The 
this is a pretty big area, so I'm just going to look at potential exits. Okay, they're kind of all over the place. There is one kind of near the start. Tile is actually treasure hunting spot, so Okay, so he's on one of them. Never mind. Okay, so that's actually one of them. It's actually a treasure spot, so I'm gonna check this. It's a trap. spot that I want. as well. Oh right, it took Treasure Hunter off, that's right.
Okay, so that's not gonna matter. We just need the exits. Slow. <sighs> Why'd you have to be right there, dude? Oh, there's actually another one further down. Okay, so I'm just gonna try attacking him first. just went though. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but, uh, okay, so one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, oh, that spot right behind Zarig, right? Um, JP though. Yeah. Okay, so it has to be the the ones that Agrius is closer to. I think this is right. Yeah. Oh, that's the one. would hurt that much.
prepare to feel the wrath. She's not going anywhere. Setup should work out pretty well, and we're not even 20 minutes in, so I think we have time for this. did just hit 20 minutes, so, well, no. And I don't need to poach these guys, but we have some humanoid enemies, looks like. Cocktress, so that's a chance at another, um, uh, feather weave cape, I believe is what it's called. I get it. Okay. This map's a bit more tricky. Oh, 
Looks like I'm gonna have to split up my party a little bit. Send somebody else over there, that part doesn't matter as much. Although I could send everybody down that way, which is actually probably going to be better. It's because this map is kind of more narrow, but it's longer. Like, longer this way. It only goes from there to there. So, ten tiles wide. And I think I can send everybody down the same way? Probably. Um, he is... oh, he is... Uh, okay. Further away than I thought. Okay. Um, okay, so the first one to check would be... healed them, but... okay. Let's see... two spaces in front of Agrius would be... Pretty good place to go, honestly. I don't want to put him like front and center right from the outset, so let's uh. helpful. Saw the layout a little bit there with the effects.
kind of really want to get rid of this guy, but... That would hit before his turn, but mm, let's find out.
doing much, which is kind of great. And they're grouped together. Why would you do that, dude? Oh, maybe she's not... Maybe it wore off? I don't think it wore off. No, it didn't. Why would she do that? Why would he do that? Oh, fuck. Agrius, you are kind of a problem for me. and I'm pretty sure it'll wear off on this turn, but... Still, I might have to retry this one. you have to go around. Ah, damn it. You better snap out of this. Come on, it was an eighty five percent chance. Causing me so many problems. Come on! How are you still under their shit, Agrius? It's 
Steelheart usually only applies for a couple of turns. would have snapped her out of it. I don't know why you guys would do that, that's pretty dumb. That would take him out, which, you know... concern right now is I don't want her to get too far away from the group, so... Oh wait, 
Are they down to two? Oh, and that bird's gonna die from doom. He might be the last. Yeah, he might be the last enemy. Which would not be good for me. did help thin the numbers quite a bit, so... possible exit over here, so I'm gonna have her kind of move towards the rest of the group and heal. It's an unnecessary amount of HP. That'll work. Okay. Because yeah, that cockatrice isn't gonna do anything. And it's going to die automatically pretty soon. I would rather poach it before it does, but... Shit, same goes for Ramza, actually. Which, I mean, if he dies, it's all over, so... But he's not going to be able to get over in time anyway, so I'm going to have him go over here. chance, so, yeah. Oh, this better work or this is all over. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, good stuff. Um... Importantly, now we're in a pretty good position to just explore, find the exit, and get out of here. That's actually a bit more helpful. Uh, we should have... Okay, these two are impassable. So 
So left. This one or this one should be one of the possible exits. There it is. All right. So we are done. We can go ahead and uh, sec yeah, there's that cure spell coming. So just finish off the uh, remaining enemies and get out of here. I'll be able to hit him with Divine Ruination, though. Combs is the next one. Vertical, oh, it's not quite there yet. All right, that's fine. Um, She's literally maxed on JP for Summoner, well... Is it not say... Oh... Yeah, it doesn't say Mastered because there's actually one more thing for Summoners to learn. So I could switch her to being a Black Mage. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Or just stay as a summoner. Either way. However, some of the black magic stuff is actually pretty useful. Just because, like, it's pretty fast. Like, even the Agas, like, 15 speed, that's not bad. I mean, Flare has 15, too, which is really not bad. Like, Holy's a little bit faster at 17, but it's faster than most of the, um, like, Big Buster summons. Plus, I think levels as Black Mage increases magic attack. It's 
kinda no reason not to. I mean, Time Mage is pretty good, but... The magic attack stat is not. And it's mostly for things like Gravaga and Meteor, but those are like stupid slow. So. magic attack that's really good however um i would either have to get rid of white magic or summons and if i get rid of white magic she won't have a way to revive people so Diana, however, still hasn't learned Odin, so I'm gonna leave her as a summoner for the time being. Plus, like summons are just like really good to have. Uh, do, 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 do. Plus, she'll have immunity to some of the other things with the Joppa Mala, so kind of be better for support. Um, I'm just going to see if I want to roll the dice for the uh, treasure hunter in this one. Could get another Kaiser Shield. Which I mean that is a really good shield. But is it worth sacrificing mobility? I don't think so. one other thing. I mean, I doubt I'm going to get it. Okay, so there's two that are worth having Treasure Hunter on this next one, so I'll just, yeah. don't really need poach for this next one either. So I'm going to give concentration to Ramza because that's pretty damn helpful. And for Zerig, probably also concentration because I kind of want him to keep a shield.
Mm, for Agrius, probably attack boost. Because that actually does help with her um, Holy Sword techniques. But we are out of time, so we'll do this on the next episode. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, on the next one, indeed, we are going to be doing the fourth depth of Midlight Steep. And, uh, maybe the fifth? I don't know. We got... I think we got two done on this episode, so... Um, yeah, so it actually might not... I mean, initially I was expecting it to be one episode, like, per depth, so... Which is probably going to be more of the pace later. Just because, um... Pretty sure the later ones are more difficult. So... Uh, but yeah. That's what we'll do on the next one, so... But yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is the one and only Naval Strakonis. Thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly. Greatly helps out. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, in case you guys want to be incredibly awesome like Naval Strakonis and get in on all those membership benefits, uh, check out the join button down below to your start at three bucks a month. It's only 10 cents a day. Gets you in on all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members choice polls it's a thing we do once a month for a full seven days uh, where the channel members can vote on an upcoming series whatever gets most votes becomes that series so uh the one for february is going to be the final week of february starting the 22nd ending uh march 1st and that will be to select the series that will be replacing this one once it's over so this series is likely going to be wrapping up early March, so the timing just kind of works out right there. And in between those and the morning slot, I'm going to be releasing some project videos I've been working on for a while. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to stay up to date on all the um, goings on, all the updates uh, here on the channel, uh, either keep an eye on the community tab, or follow the Farts of Crap Show Twitter, or join the Discord. I post the updates on all three of those um, whenever something's coming up. So, yeah. That is indeed going to do it for this episode. So, thanks for being here, guys. Once again, till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.